From when to drop precautions to the best advice for those with young children, viewers continue to have a lot of questions about what's safe. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is back to answer more of your questions submitted through clickondetroit.com. Hi, Doc. Hey, Kim. Yeah, so a viewer asks, I have heard scientists are developing a nasal spray vaccine and perhaps an oral vaccine. If so, how soon do you think those would be developed, approved, and or available in our area? I am married to a severe needle phobic, and the shot version is out of the question. So the answer is vaccines like that are being developed, but they are so preliminary that it isn't completely clear how safe or effective they might be or if they would ever come to market. The actual shot is going to be your only option for a very long time. Now here are more of your questions. A viewer asks, what about observations, treatments, and preventative dosages of ivermectin for COVID-19? Ivermectin is a medication most often used to treat parasites in animals. In humans, it is approved for topical application to treat head lice and a condition called rosacea, and orally to treat certain parasites that can infect humans. There has been interest in using it to treat COVID after researchers found high concentrations could inhibit SARS-CoV-2 replication in test tube experiments. So far, the limited human data does not suggest it's helpful, and both the FDA and the World Health Organization recommend against the use of ivermectin against COVID-19. However, there are ongoing studies looking at the drug. A viewer asks, Help me understand what is safe for my unvaccinated children. Family members say, I'm vaccinated, so they'll be fine without a mask. The numbers are going way down. They won't get very sick if they catch it. These are the things I hear. I feel they should continue to mask up until they become eligible for vaccine. I don't think we should eat inside a restaurant yet. What is your best advice to keep our kids not eligible for vaccine yet safe? It is true that if you are vaccinated, the chances of bringing the infection home to your children is extremely low. It's also true that the numbers are going down, and generally, young children tolerate a COVID infection well compared to adults. However, only you can decide what is safest for your children. The current risk is not zero. Until they can be vaccinated, your kids will certainly be more protected by wearing masks and not eating in restaurants. Now, finally, Janice asks, my husband and I are fully vaccinated since February. Do we still have to wipe down the groceries and wait four days to read the newspaper or magazine? The answer, Janice, is no, you don't. The risk from COVID spread on surfaces is much lower than initially thought. If you are both vaccinated or frankly not, you can frankly feel comfortable dropping those precautions. Back to you. Again, a lot of good questions. We appreciate those answers.